Shalom everyone, it's Kol Torah, it's Tuesday at noon, and today we'll discuss Parashat Vayishlach. As we know, Yaakov is on his way back to the land of Israel, and he's going to meet um, someone that he, I'm not sure he wants to meet or not, but it's Esav, that is his brother. He can't change the reality. He left Israel, he ran away from Israel because of Esav, who was about to kill him, and now it's the time that he needs to meet with him, and he needs to face him. We all know the story with Yaakov struggling with the angel, receiving a new name, and then meeting with Esav. Today I would like to focus on really two sentences, two verses, that I think reveal so much about Esav's personality and about Yaakov's personality. When Yaakov sends delegations to Esav to try to appease him, he sent him with a lot of gifts to give to Esav, in a way to bribe Esav and to tell him, look, I, I, I want to share with you, I want to give you. And when Esav sees all these gifts and the flock and, and everything that Yaakov gives him, he says to Yaakov after they kiss each other and hug each other, he says to Yaakov, I don't need it. Yesh li rav. I have plenty. I just don't need your gifts. But Yaakov is begging Esav to take the gift, and he says, My brother, yesh li kol, I have everything I need. And then Esav takes the gifts. There are two words that describe plenty. Rav, plenty, and kol, everything. What's the difference between rav and call. Esav, Esau, is the one who says, Yesh li Rav. Rashi, a commentator from the 11th century in France, says the following, that when Esav says, Yesh li Rav, I have plenty, it was a way of hardiness, arrogancy. I have everything I need. I have plenty. There is nothing that you can give me that I don't have. Where Yaakov says, Yesh li kol, that means I have everything I need. What's the difference? What is the difference between these two approaches, these two attitudes? I would like to suggest to you the following. When you look at Yaakov, he obviously did not have plenty. Yeah, he was a wealthy guy. He made a lot of money when he was with his father-in-law. He came with nothing and he came back. He went with nothing and he came back with a lot. But when he says, I have coal, he says, I have everything I need. Where Esav says, I have plenty, more than I need. What do I mean by that? One of the most important things that Yaakov had, he really did not have a land to go to. The land of Israel was promised to him, but as we know that his children did not conquer the land of Israel till much later. We know that when Yaakov comes back to the land of Israel, he needs to buy property. It's not his. But what he does have, it's a family. He has a strong family, a united family that comes with him. And he has what he needs. So yesh li kol, I have everything I need. Esav, on the other hand, he's becoming very arrogant and hardy by saying, I have plenty, there is nothing that you can give me that I don't have. The difference between need and want, the difference between recognizing the everything that I have and what I want to have, is one of the major issues of our modern society. People like to have what they want and not necessarily what they need. And sometimes, unfortunately, they can't afford what they want, but they try to do their best to get what they want so they can show off to the people that they don't like. What 
Yaakov is trying to teach us is that it's not about the plenty, but it's about everything that I need. What are my needs? Not that you don't need to be, I would say, want to have things that you don't have. Ambitious. You can be ambitious. But just making money or wealth for the sake of making wealth will not give you happiness. It can give you a headache, but not happiness. There is need to be a goal, there is need to be a purpose to why do we make money, why we create wealth, why we put so much time and effort in trying to create something. Are we just making it for the sake of doing it? I'll share with you a little story slash a joke that I think will sum up everything that Yaakov is trying to teach us. There's a little story about a guy who went to the doctor, to a psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist asked him, why are you here? You look normal. He says to him, I don't know, my family sent me here. So the psychiatrist says to him, no, look, if your family sent you here and they already paid for it, you know, let's talk. What's your, what do you like to do? So the guy says, I like to make pancakes. So the psychiatrist says, pancakes? I love pancakes too. So the guy says to him, you like pancakes? You not me, need to come to my house. So he goes to him to his house and he see, the psychiatrist see that this guy is little, not normal. He has pancakes all over the kitchen. He has pancakes in the refrigerators. He has pancakes in the freezers. He has a little storage room with pancakes. So the psychiatrist looked at him and says, I think I know what's your problem. The pancakes. So the guy says to the psychiatrist, but you told me you like pancakes too. So the psychiatrist says to him, I'll tell you what's your problem. I like pancakes. So I eat them once a week, twice a week. I like them with chocolate chip. I like them without chocolate chip. But you know, I eat them twice a week, three times a week. But for you, you are making pancakes. Not only for yourself. And not only to share it with others. And not only that you're making pancakes for maybe there is going to be a day that uh, no, no one is going to sell any pancakes anymore. You are just doing that for the sake of having pancakes. What's the goal of doing that? What's, what are you trying to accomplish? When we make money, it's a good thing. And if we want to make money so we can share with others and do the kind, perform kindness and charity, that's beautiful. If we want to make money so we can save for a rainy day, that's also, it's great. But just to make money for the sake of money so I can say I have plenty. So what do we really have? Let's ask ourselves the question. When we make pancakes, why are we making it? Let's go back to Yaakov's statement. Yesh likol. I have my family with me. I have my needs taken care of. I can still be ambitious, but it's not going to define who I am. Thank you.